For the final time this season, we have been asking you to vote for your favourite Brazilian Grand Prix, and the results are in. Time for second place with 22% of the vote was two years, the 2006 and 2009 Brazilian Grand Prix. The 2009 race saw Felix Sontag take what would be his final victory in his career after an exciting finale in wet conditions, whilst the 2006 race saw a title showdown between Joshua Anderson and Joseph Willows, and thanks to Renault mucking up their strategy, it was Joseph Willows who wanted to become the first ever world champion in GP4 OC in a car that was third quickest at best, whilst his teammate Jack Boyman took what would be the final win of his career, despite losing his front wing towards the end of the race. But the winner by a clear margin with 56% of the vote was the 2007 Brazilian Grand Prix, which saw a three-way showdown for the title between Joseph Willows, Will Nella and Yimmy Marta, and as a result of Will Nella and Joseph Willows bottling it at turn two, it was the underdog Yimmy Marta, despite losing his front wing during the Joseph Willows crash, who wanted him to take his only world championship, whilst George Roque took advantage of this to take his his first career win. Let's have a look back at that classic championship decider. And it's going for the final time here in Brazil. And who's got a good start between the two McLarens? It's Joseph Willis. Joseph Willis getting the start he needed. A fantastic start from the defending champion. Wanted to defend the championship this weekend. And now Nella, Nella's got straight and he crashed! Oh no, Will Nella, one of the championship contenders, is out of the Brazilian Grand Prix! And that is championship over for Will Nella! And he's looking good for the championship moment, as long as he has no mistakes. In fact, he's making a mistake of third commentator's curves. Joseph Willows has crashed it. Joseph Willows has crashed it and Marta's lost his front wing. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Has Joseph Willows just binned an opportunity to become a double world champion? There he is, Marta, prime position to win the Drivers' Championship. He's going to take his first ever win in the series in the final race of the championship. George Rogue wins the Brazilian Grand Prix. A fantastic race for him, a little bit of luck indeed, but still you have to have a little bit of luck in this. And here is the new world champion, Yuri Marta. It's the 2007 GP4 offline champion. Congratulations to him. Joseph Wells will be bitterly disappointed but happy for his teammate nonetheless. An excellent victory for George Roque, an amazing way to win the title for Yuri Marta. Even though it was a very lucky title, Yuri went from being an underdog going into that race to end up winning the whole thing by the end of it, and it seems fitting that this was voted the best Brazilian Grand Prix on the week that Yuri will host his final race before he takes his two-season break. 
Thank you for voting, not just for this poll, but for every poll during the course of the 2014 season. I hope you've enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane in GP4C and to look back at some of the greatest moments in the series 9 season history. This series will return now and again whenever any new or returning venues join the calendar, so like next season when we go to Mexico, we will ask you to vote for your favourite race at Mexico City, as by the time we get there, Formula E would have had two races there already, and in 2016 when we go to Baku, we'll be asking you to vote for your favourite European Grand Prix. So look out for those over the coming seasons of GP4OC. But until then, enjoy the final race of the 2014 GP4 Offline Championship.